What started off as just a small corner of my room where I did schoolwork has now turned into this mega station, the center focus of my room where I make things like YouTube videos, animations, and much more. At this point, it's very optimized for work. In this video, I'm going to be going over everything in this setup and how it allows me to do more of the work that I truly want to get done. I'll also briefly talk about FlexiSpot, a company that helped me achieve that goal and can help you too. That being said, let's get into the video. Finding inspiration for the setup was hard. I looked at Pinterest and Google. I looked at editing setups and gaming setups, and I realized there was a problem. On one hand, of course, there were the gaming setups. RGB everywhere, controllers, Funko Pops, and colorful wallpapers. It looks cool, but that's not really my style since I don't really play games. They didn't fit what I was trying to do. The editing setups, on the other hand, which is something I do and want to do more of, looks super boring. I needed to create a hybrid of the two. A place that made creative work look and feel as exciting as gaming. So I stuck with the mainly monochromatic theme, using colors like black, gray, white, which made it feel a lot more professional. But I also incorporated Lego builds into the computer and colored LED lights, which make the setup feel more personalized, exciting, and alive. To reinforce the work aspect even more, there's plenty of signs and reminders all centered around work. On my whiteboard, I usually put some type of thing I want to focus on. About a month ago, I had Parkinson's Law, a rule that suggests that work expands to fill the time allowed for its completion. For example, if you get a month to do an assignment, you're going to take a month. But if you only had a week to do so, you'd get the same assignment done in a week. I wrote that on the board to help me get better with deadlines, especially ones I set for myself, since the projects and videos on this channel take really long to make. Right now I have Deep Work, which I learned from a book I just finished. The book is mainly about focus. It allows you to get ahead by producing things a lot better in a short amount of time. I've already experienced the effects of Deep Work in my own life, and I've got to say, being this intentional with the setup has helped a lot with that. Something I use a lot of, and I mean a lot of, are sticky notes. I use them a lot for writing down tasks or getting quick ideas down when I'm at my desk. When I'm animating, I use them for drawing storyboards that sometimes go on the board by my door, but more often end up going on the side of my PC. For the techie people in my audience, this PC has a GeForce RTX 3070, Ryzen 5800X, and 32GB of RAM. In simple terms, it's a very fast computer that's able to handle all the things I do. I think it's best to spend a lot on the important stuff and save on everything else. For example, the most expensive and important stuff would be the PC, the mic, and the desk. The powerful PC allows me to create bigger and better things. The microphone is important for you all to have a good listening experience. And the desk puts all the stuff on display so I want to work more. I have a Logitech G502 mouse and Alexa, which I can use to turn on my setup with my voice. It's working time. Ryan, there's nothing special to the rest of the stuff on my desk and wall isn't really that special. My keyboard has white and gray keycaps with blue switches. I have standard 60 hertz monitors, a diffuser, a lightning bolt, and the speakers are $30. And by the way, the desk isn't really even a desk. Inspired by Pinterest and Google and all the other stuff I researched, I used two IKEA Alex drawers with a laminate marble countertop. Work is usually seen as a bad thing. It's a scary, difficult, and overwhelming monster that gets in the way between you and your goal. To make it worse, if you work at a desk, it can also be uncomfortable. Well, thanks to FlexiSpot, you don't have to be anymore. They sent me their ergonomic C7 office chair, which I'm sitting in right now, and it's pretty comfortable, which is something I didn't expect from an office chair. I have a mirror next to my setup, and when I sit at my desk for long periods of time, my back starts to hurt, my posture ends up looking like this. But that was the old chair. I built the C7 fairly recently, and as someone who spends hundreds of hours sitting at their desk, I notice the difference immediately. There's a piece of the chair that's separate from the backrest. It's called lumbar support, and it supports your lower back even when you're sitting up straight. And if you want to lean back, you can. Read a book, do do do, and then you'd be like, you get back to business. <laughs> Not only is it comfortable, but the design is amazing. It's classy. It stays minimal without being basic. Once I switched out my old chair, it instantly leveled up my entire setup. Everything felt a lot more professional. Not only did they send me an ergonomic office chair, but they also sent me the standing desk. I can't really add it to this area right now because the monitors are mounted to the wall and not on the desk, but keeping it in a different room, I can still go in there with a the laptop and work. Wait a second. Also, another cool thing I found out. This desk is pretty sturdy. I wouldn't recommend doing this, by the way, but if I wanted to.
So if you've been thinking about buying a new chair or standing desk, or just have really bad posture or back pain when sitting, you can click the link in the description and use the code RyanFilms to get $30 off your next purchase. Another very important aspect to my setup, which I don't think is talked about enough, is lighting. For many years, I did stop motion animation, which involved taking several pictures of Lego bricks and moving them little by little, and then stringing those pictures together fast to make it look like they were moving on their own. When making these animations, I would turn off the lights in my garage and block out the windows, because if I didn't, the shadows from my body and clouds moving over time would cause light flicker, which just doesn't look good. What I didn't realize at the time was that lighting not only had an effect on the animation, but on my ability to focus. In that garage, the only lights that were really on were the desk lamps I used for the set of my stop motion. Since it was so dark, I really had nothing to look at besides what I was supposed to be doing. And looking back, that was one of the main factors that allowed me to sit down there for hours at a time animating. Now let's apply this to the setup. Sometimes I still have trouble getting into the zone, especially when it comes to making videos for this channel. Recently, I started taking lighting more seriously by closing the blinds to my window and turning off the light in my room. My PC used to be on the floor, but now that it's on the desk, the LED lights add to the ambiance. I've also added some new lights recently, which I'd suggest to anyone trying to improve their setup. Those would be LED lights behind your monitor or desk, which adds depth to your setup and gives a really cool effect. I also have this light above my monitor, which illuminates my desk, an idea I got from another content creator, Pleo, who I actually know in real life. He makes videos all about improving his room and setup, so check him out after this video if you're interested in that stuff. Organization. Something most people struggle to maintain, including me. My cables and drawers keep getting crazy. But for the most part, I keep the top of my desk clean and know where things are. This makes me want to be at my desk more and helps me stay in the creative flow because I don't have to spend that much time looking for things. Proper inspiration, smart spending, comfortability, lighting, and organization are the five pillars to my creative workspace. If you're new here and interested in the work that I do, consider subscribing. Thanks again FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. And if you're considering buying their ergonomic C7 office chair, make sure to use code RyanFilms at checkout. Thanks for watching.